Welcome to Tales of the Flip Side. This is the Modern Spec 10 list. At number 10, we have Uncanny X-Men, number 300, the new stand edition. This is the first Amelia Vault. She's a mutant who can change herself, others, any, any type of matter into vapor and control that vapor. What's been confirmed for She-Hulk is that they've cast Renee Elise Goldberry, who's been in Altered Carbon season two, as a character called Amelia. Multiple insiders are reporting that this Amelia is Amelia Vaught. So if you believe that, then keep in mind that Amelia Vaught in the comics has strong ties to S.W.O.R.D. and She-Hulk. So this book will heat up if and when that's confirmed. There are a Dynamic Forces limited edition to 5,000, and there's also two limited treasured editions uh, that are signed uh, by uh, J.R. Jr. If that rumor is confirmed, you know, maybe this will shoot up to number one. Uh, if, if not, then it, it'll be down to number 25. <laughs> At number nine, we have Monstrous number one. Monstrous, yes. This is a uh, series from Image Comics, Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda, if I'm pronouncing those correctly. Um, this is a huge cult following book, uh, not quite as big as Saga, but uh, it's been on a lot of people's radar for, for many years now. Uh, that being said, it's it's still pretty economical. Uh, nine eights are only going for around three hundred. There is a second and a third print. The second print is the one that's seemingly the most rare. It's actually approaching a thousand dollars now. In nine eight, uh, there seems to be more of a push uh, in in optioning different kind of Asian style manga type properties. So there's a lot of people who really want this to happen, uh, and you can still get good good near mint copies for a hundred and less at number eight we have ghost rider number one uh, alejandra jones a uh, mexican-american female um you know it's a brand new character there, there was some spec that uh she was going to appear in the in the doctor strange movie but it ended up being um american chavez but a lot of people still think that there could be an parents by her you can still get this book for 35 to 40 bucks on ebay right now but you know any first appearance of a, of a young character right now i mean uh it's worth scooping in a couple of them up just to have them because you never never know right now there is a one in a hundred i believe Neil adams um that's pretty pricey but this one is uh is uh, if you get a slab in a nine eight you're going for about 120 bucks I mean, it's the first appearance of a character. This is a uh, this is a uh, low hanging fruit. Welcome to the team, Red Hood Comic. Thank you very much. At number seven, we have Avengers one sixty two. Yes, this was uh, this was my nominee. Uh, this is the recognized first appearance of Jocasta. Uh, she actually doesn't get her name till a later book, and she has a first cover. Uh, in a later book, but this is the one that the market has chosen for her. Jocasta has been a mainstay in in various Avengers lineups up, lineups for decades now, and again, I think we need to start looking at some of these long term Avengers that haven't made their appearance yet in the MCU. There's no reason to think Paul Bettany is going anywhere, but if he leaves the Avengers lineup, uh, having having Jocasta step in as the AI character would make a lot of sense. She has ties with Ultron, with the Pims. Uh, it, it seems to be about the right time to, to see her appear somewhere. There is a 35 cent price variant of this, uh, but nine eighths uh, of this are not easy to come by. There's only 27 on the census right now. So get them while they're cheap. For our number six book, we have Giant Size Chillers number one. I'm a big believer in Dracula. Uh, coming to the screen in some form, Blade, MCU. And I think when that happens, I think Lilith would be a sure bet as well. Um, this is her first appearance. Not an easy book to find in the wild um, if, you're, if you're out there searching for it. 
it, it's still reasonably priced. You can grab this book raw mid grade for like 50 to 80 bucks, uh, depending on where you're looking, the higher the grade, the more you're going to pay, but safe bet. I feel at this point. At number five, we have Tomb of Dracula, number 25. More uh, more Blade spec here. This book has seen steady rises for sure. It's not an easy book to find in high grade either. Or it doesn't come up a lot, one, one of the two. I know a 7.5 just sold for like $175, um, if that tells you anything. I think all it'll take is a recast of the character Hannibal King to push this one all the way over the top. It, it's, it's not a bad play either. First appearance of Hannibal King, um, you, you never know. At number four, we have Voltron number one. This is the first appearance of Voltron in comics. CBCS does recognize it on their uh, information label. CGC does not yet, but I, I, I don't think that it's arguable uh, that it is the first appearance in comics. These can be picked up generally in the kids section for a few dollars. Uh, I, I just picked up a few recently for like, I think they were three or $4 a pop. These in a nine, eight go for about $300 in the census uh, for CGC. There is, I think 186 copies. Half of those are, are nine eights. Look out for a Canadian newsstand edition as well. The three corner tabs that are, are pictured there is uh, the dual price is the, uh, direct edition the 75 cent is the newsstand and then the dollar is the canadian newsstand there are only five canadian newsstand nine eights in the cg census currently kind of riding the coattails of everything from our childhood uh blowing up i think this is just just waiting to explode i don't know that there's anything been announced i thought there was a rumor a while back but i nothing that i i can confirm at number three we have Omega Men number three. This is the book everybody loves to hate. Uh, we were just talking about that before we started filming. This is one, if you go to cons, you see this everywhere. If you go on eBay, you see it everywhere. There's a lot of copies out there. 2,225 9.8s. Obviously, this is the first appearance of Lobo, another character of an 80s character that, that people love to kind of make fun of. But... Uh, there's such a following and these books you can still get a nine eight for easily less than than 250 dollars with the right writer and with the right casting this could very well become the the deadpool of of dc like it or not uh so i think it's it's criminally undervalued right now at least at number two we have teen titans go number one there is an extremely rare preview, which for our YouTube viewers is up on the screen. It, it's almost impossible to find. Hopefully, I, I do have a copy. Hopefully, we'll cover it in a future roundtable. But the market considers the Teen Titans Go number one from 2004, the first appearance of the animated Teen Titans. As a generation has come to know them, they're kind of anime looking and they have specific personalities associated with these animated versions. Um, the animated Teen Titans was a huge hit. Like I said, it, it introduced a new generation of fans, like my, my kids. Uh, even my wife knows you know, this cartoon and the, these animated uh, versions of the characters. And you know, there's been so much spin-off, licensed merchandise, video games, music, toys. And then it also spun off the Teen Titans go animated series which was more which is more humor oriented and is still going on to this day um comic cron reports uh 29 units were shipped likely a lot of those went to kids and it was and as a result they're not in high grade probably like the the ones i have by the way there is a newsstand out there but there's only 47 9.8s in the census the 12 month GPA average for this year is 110. And that is down from the 2019 average of $160. So this is in a, uh, in a bit of a, a, a lull. Uh, I think there's a lot of room to grow on this. Uh, like I said, I think this is one of those uh, books that uh, a generation identifies with. Yeah, this is the DC book everyone was asking for. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And for our number one book, we have Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars number seven. 
So this book has a first appearance of Spider-Woman, Julia Carpenter. You know, this is a possible Sony Pictures Cinematic Universe appearance. It's a completely undervalued book. There's a newsstand and a direct version. There's a Mark Jewelers insert and a Canadian price variant in circulation. Seems like there could be more 9.8 on the census. Uh, this could be a great play here. There's zero Mark Jeweler inserts on the census currently. This book is like at a $30 high raw copies. For 9.8, they sell for $225. There's one copy of a 9.9 .9 on the census. 462 9.8s, and there's 18 Canadian price variants, 9.8 on the CGC census. Just an interesting note on this one. In continuity, Spider Woman's black and white costume was the first black spider costume uh, in comics. Nice. Nice. Well, thank you for joining us. Everyone have a happy 420. Stay safe out there. And catch us on Thursday for our roundtable.